The men with the talents, and one had five, and gained another five. One had two, and gained another two, and one had one, and buried it, and didn't didn't gain anything from the one. Representing those who receive the graces from God, talents, abilities, to serve Him, and they are to bear fruit with them. If they do, they will bear fruit and be rewarded for that. And if they don't, they will be punished. The punishment for the one who received one and didn't gain anything is not mentioned here in this gospel passage for this gospel. But our Lord says to, or this man says to the to the workers, um, thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will place thee over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Uh, well done, good and faithful servant. And this is what our Lord is looking for us, to be good and faithful servants. Mother Teresa, when she was um, working in one of her homes, somebody came to her and was observing the house for the dying or that she was taking care of and um, noticed that she was only taking care of, you know, percentage-wise, very little for all the misery that was happening, I guess, in India and said to her, you know, what good are you doing? You're only doing a small bit when there's so so many people that need need help and are not being very successful. She said, well, God hasn't called me to be successful. He called me to be faithful. And this is what our Lord's saying here in this gospel. Good, well done, good and faithful servant. Gives some people five talents, some people two, some people whatever number. We can't solve all the problems in the world, but we are called to solve the problems that God has entrusted to us to to solve or to work in his vineyard in a small area or large area that he's called us to, to work in. And we have to be faithful <clears throat> in our work, faithful, faithful, persevering in our work. And to do that, you know, we have to not just like hang on until the end. And fidelity means a, a day in and day out, someone we can count on, someone who's reliable. Our Lord's looking for fidelity in that sense, reliability, not somebody who's going to, you know, uh, work work in fits and starts and be faithful today and because they feel good and not tomorrow, not next week, but to be faithful day in and day out over the long haul. This is the way it is in, in marriage. We take the vows to be faithful in good times and bad, in sickness and health, to death and do us part. We are called to be faithful to God in good times and bad, in sickness and health, in adversity and prosperity, to the day we die, to the day we die. And that is, in order to be faithful to 50 years of our life, 60 years of our life, to be faithful in the long haul, we have to be faithful today. If I am faithful today, and I just focus on today, doing the best I can today, then I will do the same tomorrow and the next day, and that's how I will make it to the end, by fidelity today. If I'm not faithful in my daily duties, uh, there's a good chance I'm not gonna be faithful to the end. But if vice, vice versa is true, if I am faithful, and strive to do everything faithfully for God all through today, then I will be faithful to the end, most likely. And uh, this is our final perseverance. We are entrusting to God. We are entrusting to Our Lady, praying. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And, and we trust our perseverance and our death to, to Our Lady. And we just do the best we can today. And one way to be faithful, I think, is uh, really to look at the day in, in, in terms of hours. And in religious life, we call our, our daily, daily schedule an horarium based on the hours of the day. 
And in each hour we get something to do, and something we're supposed to do. We have prayers at certain hours, work at certain hours, eating, sleeping, different work at certain hours, and we are supposed to be faithful to to the work or the duty that we're doing at that hour. That's that's what we have taken vows to do, to be faithful to our schedule and horarium. And same for everyone in the in the world. It's it's good to to have hours to follow, schedule to follow. And then if we don't do the thing we're supposed to do at that hour, then we can then we can t- keep track of our fidelity to God, of our fidelity to our duties. Am I going to Mass in the morning? Am I saying my prayers at this hour, 8 o'clock or 6 o'clock? Am I you know, saying the Angelus at, the, at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock? Am I... Uh, you know, doing, do, doing, am I praying my rosary at this hour? Am I uh, doing my work at this hour? And if I am, then I can check that off. I've been faithful to my duty. And if I, I don't and I have some good reason for it, then there's an exception. But then I come back and follow the rule, follow the rule of my schedule. And this is how I see if I am being faithful and if I'm diligent in that and if I strive hard to to be faithful to those things and to do more and more for our Lord. The point is to be good and faith, a good and faithful servant to our Lord. Fidelity, day in and day out, this is what we will be rewarded for. This will make us hear those words. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord, good and faithful servant. Thank you.